Hi everybody, welcome to the session. In this video, we are going to solve some questions based on closed test. So it's an interesting name. What do we mean by closed test? Let's first quickly discover that. So when we talk about closed test, it is an exercise where a student is provided with a paragraph and there are multiple blanks in the paragraph. Now, uh, you have to fill in those blanks with the word. Of course, the options are offered to you. Now, uh, see, uh, it is very, very important to understand that in these sort of questions, uh, your ability to comprehend the information is certainly tested. Plus, it also checks your grammar because there can be a blank where you are offered four prepositions and you need to pick the right preposition. So, it is a test of grammar. Uh, there can be one blank where you are provided with, uh, you know, different types of tenses and you need to pick that what is the right tense. Or there are different words, uh, difficult words and you are asked to pick one. So, you need to know the meaning. So, it can be a test of grammar for sure. It can be a test of vocabulary and of course, usage will certainly happen. So, uh, usually students find closed test, you know, they take it very easy, but it is not. In fact, you need to be very solid with your concepts if you have to really work well with closed test questions. So, uh, if you talk about uh, my suggestions, how to crack such questions, you have to be strong with your fundamentals. You need to know the basic parts of speech. Um, that's essentially required especially the grammar portion vocabulary you need to know the meaning of the words so that is the reason we always ask the students that practice closed test questions when you have got some fundamental clarity on grammar and you know some good vocabulary words right so in this video what are we going to do we are going to solve some two uh, interesting closed test passages just to apprise you so that you're slightly more comfortable we'll quickly quickly in a nutshell talk about uh, some grammatical concepts because vocabulary cannot be picked i can't teach you words in a very limited time but yes what we can do is we can quickly talk about all the eight parts of speech so that at least you are aware of the role uh, and then we can solve some uh, questions so that you get acquainted to the style and you know how to tackle these questions so to begin with it is very very important to understand what are the eight parts of speech so uh, we have had a detailed video on this where we will be talking about eight parts of speech uh, we have already done so um, here it would be just a quick recap so that you are well versed with the terms so the first part of speech is a noun noun is a name of a person place animal or a thing so say for instance ball cricket juhi taj mahal um, umbrella buffalo goat horse uh, these are all nouns right so you need to see is there any place where a noun is accommodated now at times if you have this clarity that this place will demand a noun so you can eliminate adjectives and adverbs which are provided as an option so that's here where you know the more aware you are uh, the more uh, you know clarity you have regarding concepts the better you are going to handle closed test questions so when we talk about second part of speech that's pronoun so pronouns are the words that you use instead of nouns he, she, uh, her, him, their, ours, yours, mine, my, all these are pronouns. So we know pronouns are replacers. Replacers means they are used instead of nouns. So you have to check. Now say for instance, there is a singular uh, subject and then you are provided options which are having plural pronouns. So you can very easily eliminate, right? So that's why you need to know parts of speech and you need to know the fundamental rules of grammar, right? Third part of speech would be verb. So any sentence in English is incomplete without having a verb in it. Verb tells you about the action that's happening in the sentence. So that's very, very important. Uh, now there's a difference between verb and tenses. You need to know tenses also, right? So um, tenses tell you about the time of action and verb tells you about the action. So if I'm at this point of time, say I write a sentence for you. Um, simple sentence, maybe we can pick up like this i am teaching in the class so if you are able to see that here the verb is teach so what is the action happening action is of teach you know teach is the verb now how do you get the clue that uh, what is the time of action by taking tenses into consideration so i am teaching so yeah, when we talk about is am are 
depending on the subject. So if your subject is singular, you will go with is. If the subject is I, you will, uh, will go with am. And if the subject is plural, you're going to go with are. With you also, you go for are. So uh, verb first form plus ing. Right, that's precisely what I've done in the sentence. This is present continuous. So this is present continuous tense that tells us that the action is happening at the time of speaking. So how did I get this clarity that uh, what is the time of the action by observing tenses, right? So verbs and tenses, verb tells you about the action, tenses tell you about the time of the action, right? Uh, so it is very, very important to get clarity on tenses also. Uh, we have a video for the same. Now coming uh, further, the next would be adverbs. So adverbs are the words that tell you more about uh, verbs, adverbs and adjectives, right? So we have usually seen students struggling with the definition of adverbs also. So I will slightly elaborate it further. Let me just drop this. So adverbs are the words that qualify uh, verbs. Of course, this everybody knows. But where the problem lies that students are not aware about the other three uh, usages and that's, that's where the confusion lies. So adverbs are used to qualify verbs. They're also used to qualify adverbs. And they're also used to qualify adjectives. How? Let me give you some uh, examples. Right. So I'll give you a statement. I run quickly, though I don't, but... Still, we can quickly make a sentence. So, in this case, I is the subject. Run is the verb. That's an action that's happening. And quickly tells us how am I running. So, uh, quickly is an adverb. Qualifying the verb. Telling you more about the verb. So, this is where I'm justifying the first usage. Let me give you the next example. Now, next sentence I make. I run very quickly. So, again, this is a false statement. I don't really run quickly. But anyways, uh, so very uh, run is again the verb. We all know this now. I is the subject. And adverb definitely uh, is quickly. Now, how quickly am I running? Very. So very is an adverb that is qualifying another adverb, right? So this is the second usage where an adverb can qualify another adverb. This we need to know. And uh, if you are making notes somewhere, you should write that adverbs help us answer the question how. Now, let me give you the third usage. Adjectives are words that qualify more about nouns or pronouns, right? Uh, I'll write another sentence. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Isha is a very pretty girl. So, girl is a noun. Pretty is explaining how the girl is. So, pretty is an adjective. Now, how pretty? Very pretty. So, again, very is an adverb that is qualifying an adjective, right? So, in case you have not uh, known these concepts, uh, I'm sure you know that adverbs qualify the verbs. In case the other two usages are new to you, please pen these rules, you know, pen down wherever you're making notes and please keep your notebooks handy. At times when we talk about closed test, we feel like that there's, there would be nothing much. It would be more of a practice session, but be it practice. I'm sure you have seen so many videos. You must have realized that I strongly believe in doing scratch paper work in verbal so you can pen down and you know that will really increase your concentration and focus believe me on this that's really going to work wonders so uh, you can pause the video in case you don't have a pencil and paper in case you have i'll give you 30 40 seconds to quickly note down the usages of adverbs and then we talk about other four parts of speech right so i'm sure you are sorted let me quickly rub the board uh, and then i'll tell you about other four parts of speech so if you know that an adverb will come and you know that which word is an adverb which is an adjective then your life really becomes easy while handling these questions so i know i'm really emphasizing a lot on grammar because 
the other areas the usage part and if in case you're working hard for vocabulary everybody does that so vocabulary building we have seen see, uh, still seen students being enthusiastic but as far as grammar is concerned students still have you know um less of interest right so fifth is adjective though i have briefly explained you adjectives are words that help you qualify nouns or pronouns right so if you want you can write some quick definitions also quick definitions so that at least you're aware you don't need definitions but you should be aware about the rules and you know the uh, the exceptions con uh, considering the parts of speech so name of a person simple definitions right a uh, person place animal or think right uh, verb we can say action words this 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 much right uh, not detailed long definitions pronouns uh, used instead of nouns so i really uh, try to uh, you know uh, resist myself uh, not to offer a lot of classifications and definitions which would not be needed in question solving right and that's something which you should also do so what would students do uh, okay you have to do grammar they'll start uh, you know they'll start reading ren and martin you are not supposed to be a grammar expert you need to know the rules which are necessary for you to solve the questions right there's a difference between both these objectives and we should be clearly sorted with what we would want right now otherwise uh, it will be an effort effort in the wrong direction and that's something which i really uh, not advise so adverbs qualifies uh, verbs adverbs and adjectives right so simple precise definitions so adjectives qualify uh, nouns and pronouns so tall girl blue purse uh, brown uh, cat right so all these are adjectives honest boy sincere committee right so next would be uh, definitely conjunctions so conjunctions combine right so conjunctions are words that combine right so uh, and uh, for but uh, neither nor not only but also either or these are all conjunctions and the next would be uh, prepositions so prepositions which help us uh, you know establish relationships right so in into under on all these are prepositions interjections you usually don't use but then again you should know interjections uh, a last sudden expression right oh right all these are interjections so these are eight parts of speech on the screen for you uh vocabulary uh you have to work hard we have done videos how to build vocabulary we have talked about some interesting strategies so you can go and watch those videos and start working on vocabulary usage uh, will become clear the more you are going to practice and uh, you know prepare yourself for such sections of the competitive exams right so um, with the basic clarity let's quickly uh, do uh, some questions so you can see there's a paragraph so how closed test works let me explain in case somebody is doing it for the first time there is this blank a and you have uh, these five options for blank a so you need to fit in one answer choice again uh, there is this choice b and you need to pick one answer from these options then there is this blank c and then there is this blank d so um, once you uh, read the entire paragraph you will be able to understand so of course like i said comprehension is important and plus it is testing your vocabulary grammar and usage so both these things right so you need to understand that closed test would be comprehension so if you will comprehend the information because the sentences are interrelated right so that's very important and then of course your uh, awareness your usage uh, vocab and grammar this is another aspect so both these things are important right so um quickly read this and then we will discuss that what should be the right answer choices that will fit in the blank start doing it I'll give you two minutes, you can try and then we will get into the discussion.
so i'm sure you've tried let's get into the discussion mode so around the world uh, forests are being dashed at a rate of 13 million of hectares a year and deforestation accounts for an estimated 17 to 20 percent of all global emissions now you need to pay attention to this uh, transition word and which always tells us that and is taking the discussion ahead so the later part is talking about uh, deforestation and it is leading to an estimated uh, global emission so uh, we can very easily understand that what is happening to forests that they are basically uh, being cut right so this is the inference you can draw on the basis of and and uh, like i said and takes the idea forward i'll give you one example so if you pick the statement i really like you and and i ask you to complete this sentence so any idea that you're going to fit in will be positive you can think of as many ideas as possible and if i give you another statement so let's keep it um, absolutely intact like the first one making a slight twist oh, just give me a minute yeah so i'll give you another statement and this is precisely the first part is the same I really uh, like you, but, and now I ask you to finish this part. So I really like you, but we can't be friends. We can't study together. Any idea that you're going, going to fit in here would be a negative one. Now till here, both the sentences are the same. So how are we making a difference on the basis of the observation we have made on and and but, right? So this is something which is very crucial for us to understand that, uh, to tackle these questions you need to know the usage and this is what we put under the usage category right so now we are able to infer that the you know uh, uh, the forests are being cut so let's quickly uh, see um let's first eliminate i'm sure by now you must have seen so many of my videos and you must have realized that i'm a strong strong believer of process of elimination so um it has ended is come to an end. I mean, uh, it is not that forests have stopped existing. So ended will not be the word. Destroyed, yes, uh, being cut. So it matches with our predicted answer. Extent hota hai, wo species ab aapko dikhegi nahi to. Forest extent to nahi ho gai. Forest ko ab kill nahi kar sakte, right? You kill a person. So this goes out. Waste bhi nahi hoi, right? So waste is not the good match. So for this option, we will go with two as an answer. I hope we are sorted here. Everybody who's attending the session. Now let's come to the next part. That means the next plan. So you should be clear. You should be able to comprehend the information that the thing the forests are being cut. And that's eventually le uh, leading to deforestation. That is accounting for uh, 17 to 20% of all global emissions. Now take a look at this uh, word in addition. You need to pay a lot of uh, attention to transitions. So transitions help us understand that how the discussion is proceeding. So in addition, forests and other terrestrial carbon sinks play a dash role in uh, pre preventing climate change, soaking up to full 2.6 uh, gigaton of atmospheric carbon everywhere. So it plays what? It plays an important role, right? So we can say it would be, uh, now see, important can be one word that instantaneously comes to my mind. I can explore the answer choices. So tough goes out and important is matching now here your grammar comes into the picture now you need to understand important begins with i which is what which is a vowel and before vowel what do we do we use an now what is the uh, article here it is a so this is th these are the little things that you know may play a massive role so despite a predicted word is important important is there in the answer choices but we are still not able to market the reason i've told you so you have to be that accurate you know that detail you need to see otherwise if you are missing on these slight details very easily you will mark important and then you will say ma'am what happened maybe this is something wrong some discrepancy in the paper right so vital is a synonym to important why are we not picking important important se pehle an hona chahiye tha i uh, vowel has sound hai na so biggest so will go out superlatives mein to baat hai nahi so biggest se pehle the hona chahiye राइट right? अगर आपको ये रूल नहीं पता तो कहीं लिख लीजिए जब भी हम सुपर लेटिव डिग्री की बात करते हैं इन बेस्ट बिगेस्ट लार्जेस्ट स्वीटेस्ट इन सब के पहले आर्टिकल द राइट सो यू कैन पेन इट डाउन इन केस यू डोंट नो द रूल सो बिगेस्ट इसलिए एलिमिनेट हो गया इफेक्टिव 
uh, is again an effective role so that is the reason fifth also goes out so clearly our answer would be three in this case i'm circling the correct answers can you see the sort of elimination and scratch paper work i'm doing so you need to imbibe that that would be very very uh, much important and needed for you to solve the questions correctly right yeah so let's further read the sentence the um, destruction of forest uh, therefore not only emits carbon the staggering 1.6 staggering is huge noteworthy big uh, gigaton a year with severely dashed forest capacity to absorb emission from other resources so as we are able to see dekho uh, yahan par aap do usages dekh sakte ho let me explain it to you i'll just rub the board it will make it look more clear and we'll be able to understand better so let me just uh something which is not necessary let me just drop it that looks more uh, neat right so uh we were talking about uh this thing right there are two things two clues that i was talking about not only and but also so whatever ideas we are uh putting in not only but also uh, there is this video on a uh, parallel structure please go and watch that video so non uh, not not only but also is called correlative conjunction we have done it in detail so whatever ideas you are connecting with uh, these two conjunctions they should be the same they should be grammatically the same that's what we mean by the rule of parallel structure this rule is also termed as parallelism or you know uh, some people call it parallel construction also so uh, this is emitting carbon which is severely so comprehension is very important because pehle hi unhone keh diya ki global emissions ka responsible uh, uh, deforestation hai kyunki 17 to 20% 20% ho raha hai so that information koi build kar rahe hain aage right so uh, so this is with severely uh, dash uh, capacity to absorb to matlab reduce kar deta hai ya cut kar deta hai right तो आई कैन से अफेक्ट करता है तो कोई भी आपका प्रोडिक्टेड वर्ड हो सकता है तो देखो अफेक्ट्स एंड इफेक्ट्स दीज आर टू थिंग्स अब यहाँ वो कैबलरी टेस्ट होगी इसलिए भी एलिमिनेट हो गया डिमिनिश होता है रिड्यूस करना ये इम्पैक्ट क्रिएट कर रहा है सो दिस गोज आउट इंक्रीज तो ऑपोजिट इन मीनिंग है ऑल्टरनेट का भी मतलब नहीं फिट करेगा सो इम्पेयर वुड बी द बेस्ट मैच फॉर दिस राइट नाउ एज आई सेड नॉट ओनली एंड बट ऑल्सो के क्लू को आप ऑब्जर्व करोगे सो ड्रास्टिकली डैश द अमाउंट सो अगेन दिस क्लियरली हेल्प्स अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट वर्ड यहाँ पर भी सेम सेंस में जाएगा बिकॉज नॉट ओनली बट ऑल्सो इम्पैक्टिंग इट नेगेटिव वे अमाउंट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट लैंड अवेलेबल टू एक्ट एज अ कार्बन सिंक इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग रिड्यूस्ड राइट सो प्लेग्स तो नहीं हो सकता डेवलप ऑपोजिट है शॉर्ट टर्म कैसे होगा राइट इन्फ्लुएंस भी नहीं हो सकता तो रिड्यूस इज द बेस्ट मैच सो आई एम श्योर वी आर क्लियर विद ऑल द फोर ब्लैंक्स यू कैन क्विकली गिव इट अ रीड सो दैट यू आर ऑल शॉर्टेड एंड देन वील मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पेज So let's uh, try this. So you have uh, E F G three blanks on this page. Um, I'll give you one one and a half minute to try this. Then we'll get into the discussion.
so i'm sure we have uh, tried so let's um, solve together now take a look at the transitions however the effect of deforestation extend beyond carbon so there are more uh, negative effects rainforest dash a wide variety of eco systems from regulating rainfall to purifying groundwater and keeping fertile soil form so rainforests are helping right so uh, we can see which option will fit in so let's see rain forest cell to bechare kaise karenge right so offer we can keep keep give bhi nahi karenge earn bhi nahi kar sakte right uh provide uh would be i mean it, it is by between provide and offer you will pick offers itna close call lena padta hai kai bar aapko kyunki uh, provide is certain offering is you know i will offer you a suggestion provide i'm providing for my family so that's how you know you should know the exact usage of the word so we will go for two as an answer further if we see uh, also you can see this punctuation so this is sort of a stop punctuation so um, stop punctuation includes a period uh, uh, exclamation question mark semicolon and uh, comma followed by fan voice i'm slightly digressing but this is something that you need to know right for um, and not uh, but or yet and so so see these are fan voice so these combinations are used as stop punctuation stop punctuation matlab to separate two complete ideas right so at times we really don't talk much about uh, punctuations and it's not directly tested also but in case beech mein aapko semicolon dikh jaye and you get worried so what's happening agar inki jagah inme se koi bhi combination dikh jata so that's separating i'll just write it to separate two complete ideas so these are the little details you need to know right you can't do without the uh, you know knowing these things so deforestation in one area can seriously damage food production oh sorry yeah fertile soil from what so uh, regulating and keeping fertile soil from uh, there's this phenomenon is called erosion bolte hain jahan pe top layer of the fertile soil gets carried away by wind so rainforest kya karte hain grip bana ke rakhte hain so that's what the idea is saying transform to change ho jayega to ye to absolutely incorrect hai decoding i'm sure easy erupt term nahi hota erupting is volcanoes erupt karte hain drain nahi hoga eroding right so soil erosion se context aaya hai Uh, deforestation in one area uh, can seriously damage food production and dash to clean water in entire region so damage kar raha to yani ki clean water ko bhi uh, hum uh, avail nahi kar payenge handiness fit nahi karega access nahi fit karega uh, and uh, availability will again not fit excess matlab you are not able to reach out so fourth will be the correct option right So I'm sure we are sorted with these three blanks also. Let's further proceed. Try these, and then we will move to the next set. Of course, after discussion. so i'm sure you've tried so let's uh, get into the discussion mode so um let's see uh, rainforests are also a home and dash of income per huge number of people so uh, this is easy source of income is what we can interpret right beginning of income hota nahi source uh, ways bhi nahi source is a better way right reference again is not a good match so two will be an answer uh, now let's take a look at this uh, economic pressures frequently drive uh, both local communities and national governments in development forests to in the developing world to dash these forests in in ways that are unsustainable so matlab damage kar rahe hai na yahan par to 
यहाँ पे नेगेटिव वर्ड आएगा राइट right? आप एक बार अगर लॉन्गर टर्म में देखो देखोगे कि भाई इतना फायदा हो रहा है कि होम भी है और सोर्स ऑफ इनकम भी है और पहले भी दे अबाउट की सॉइल इरोजन को प्रिवेंट कर रहे हैं इतने सब बेनिफिट्स के बाद भी क्योंकि इकोनॉमिक प्रेशर होता है तो लोकल कम्युनिटीज और नेशनल गवर्नमेंट इन करेक्टली टेकिंग अ रॉन्ग वे क्या करिए फॉरेस्ट को किल कर रही है बाय टू हैव फ्यूल टिम्बर माइनिंग एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड तो यहाँ पर एक नेगेटिव वर्ड आएगा ताकि एक कॉन्ट्रास्ट क्रिएट हो सके सो वी वॉन्ट अ कॉन्ट्रास्ट वर्ड इयर राइट अ नेगेटिव वर्ड इयर दैट सी दीज आर द बेनिफिट डिस्पाइट दैट वी आर यू नो ड्यू टू इकोनॉमिक प्रेशर्स द लोकल पीपल एंड गवर्नमेंट आर you know a cutting forest and which which will lead to unsustainability and they are wanting fuel timber so i hope the overall picture is clear now your comprehension is important so here a negative uh, transition word will come despite matches these two will be positive taking the discussion ahead apart and beside again are easy eliminations so one will come in now let's come to this so matlab aap kya kar rahe ho inko exploit kar rahe ho right नेगेटिव वर्ड तो वी कैन कीप दिस इनकम पर्स नर्चर वर्क इम्प्रूव आर पॉजिटिव वर्ड सो वी वुड वॉन्ट अ नेगेटिव वर्ड इयर सो वन विल बी द आंसर रीड इट अगेन सो दैट यूर सॉर्टेड बिकॉज हियर फॉर दिस यू नीडेड टू इंटरप्रेट द एंटायर थिंग देन ओनली यूल बी एबल टू रीच टू द आंसर फॉर फर्स्ट आई एन जे सो दैट इज द रीजन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू रीड इट असेस इट मेक सेंस एंड यू विल बी एबल टू सी हाउ द फ्लो इज हैपनिंग देन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट the next set so i'm sure we are sorted here so now let's move to the next close test the set to easy again take one or two minutes try and then we are going to discuss so now since we have done one together i'm sure you'll be slightly more comfortable to take on the questions so just try them um, and be very rational and then we will get into the discussion so let's get into the discussion our national leaders are still trapped in the slogans and cliches of freedom struggle cliches means something which is continuously happening right day in and day out so day in and day out means every time okay they extol ab dekho yahan par aapko vocabulary chahiye right otherwise you would not be able to extol is appreciate profusely right so they appreciate they talk about they they you know praise the dash of nationalism patriotism and service to motherland matlab uh, the the idea of right so standards to nahi hote right nationalism or patriotism patriotism is desh bhakti so iska koi standard nahi ho target bhi nahi ho sakte goal bhi nahi ho sakta so just ground pe aap target eliminate karoge same ground pe you can eliminate goal so ideals right come to the later part uh, uh 
and dash on the great sacrifices made by our leaders in the cause of India's freedom. So they talk on it, they build on the idea, highlight it. You must have seen the current politics, you must have seen so many rallies and speeches. I need not to talk more about it, right? Up enlarge to badana hota hai, to enlarge petal ne karega. Dwell hota hai to stay, right? So this will also not fit in. Insist bhi ne fit in karega. So best match will be D. So this will be process of elimination, you know, it really helps. If you keep on eliminating the incorrect answer choices, whatever remains shall serve as the right answer. Now, mercifully, so mercifully is taking the idea forward. I mean, mercifully, thank God that this is, you know, despite that it's a cliche itself, but still pay attention to, still also, we have still dash of freedom fighters among us whose numbers keeps increasing despite uh, in the country having freedom, uh, having one freedom half a century back. So we still have, uh, you know, freedom fighters among us, right? So here, how many number we need to explore? Group of freedom fighters, tribes or hordes to hota nahi, right? So hold you, hoarding is of things. So majority is the only choice. And whose number uh, generally, periodically or normally a comment nahi kar sakta. Steadily, it's like a pace pe bad raha hai, right? So uh, I'm sure we are clear with four the, all the four blanks. Now it's time to move to the next four. Please try them. Then we'll get into the discussion. So politicians are dashed to be down to people. So मतलब expected उनसे क्या expected होता है वो कैसे होंगे right required to there's no requirement to be a politician right supposed to matches observed नहीं expected so uh, between supposed and expected expected would be the best match with their finger on the dash of the masses मतलब उनको nubs पता है must have seen politicians को nubs नेताओं को nubs पता होती है public की so pulse Mood uh, nahi hota. Take a mood keeps on changing. Heart nahi pata hoga. Mind nahi. Pulse. Pulse would be the best match. So this is where the usage, the day-to-day -day conversation, the linguals, all this is really important to, you know, set, uh, to be more aware while you are solving such sets. They should have an uncanny knack. Uncanny knack matlab something which is amazingly good. Uh, dash the nebulous desires and aspirations of the people. So, matlab unko itni uh, samaj honi chahiye. Inko actually itni clarity honi chahiye, right? So, they should be able to uh, express that what are the desires and aspirations of people. That's where, what will make them good leaders, right? Ki jo wo bolte hai, wo resonate karta amongst the public. So, knack of representing, right? Uh, or, you know, expressing. Expressing rather would be the right word. Expressing, say, we'll check with the options. Leading to nahi hoga, right? Representing uh, nahi, uh, reflecting bhi nahi, articulating, expressing. Aap kitna smartly you can, you know, articulate is a gift of speaking. You know, you are able to twist and, you know, uh, recreate and present as per the need of the people, right? In other words, they have to be dash in tune with the times. So, in uh, dash in tune with the times, ka kya hoga? they would be, uh, you know, uh, they, would, they should know what is the inside outside story, right? So, uh, inevitably, something that's definitely going to happen. Substantially, you know the meaning. So, collectively or holy, mein, holy is a better answer. So, we will go for B as an answer choice, right? So, uh, let's do these two uh, questions and then uh, we'll discuss.
see what sort of dash repeatedly appeals to patriotism nationalism as sacrifices made during so what strikes you have seen this uh, there's this uh, phrase strikes the chord strikes the chord means that makes sense this is basically uh, an expression right strikes the chord so this is an expression so uh, tune nahi hota rhythm bhi nahi hota music bhi nahi hota strike the chord so this is an expression you need to know uh, strikes in the heart of like strike the chord so strike ke sath you go with chord it grew up when countries had already won independence and the freedom struggle had gone back finished matlab history ka part ho gaya right to retire do log hote hain right uh, re returned wapas jana nahi hota piche chala gaya to recede will be the right match right so um this is how we have solved two close tests uh, in today's class and there are few takeaways for you so uh, i will just quickly write down first of course your uh, you know you need to comprehend first be aware that your ability to comprehend and your test of uh, grammar your test of usage and there is a test of vocabulary so this is not easy please isko halke mein mat lijiyega right Uh, you need to really practice or practice tab jab when you have some good uh, clarity on grammar on usage on vocabulary right now uh, elimination is important right you must have seen with most of the questions i have solved using the elimination technique right uh, predictions also help so try predicting the answer because it is a sort of a, a fill in the blank question so you can follow the uh, sentence completion strategies pay attention to transitions right very very important these are clues which are offered i am a strong 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 flag bearer of observing transition words right so i say uh, be it the questions of uh, reading comprehension be it the questions of critical reasoning be it fill in the blanks be it the close test transitions are clues that are offered to you in the platter words like furthermore moreover uh, in addition to firstly secondly lastly aapko in sab se clue milta hai ki author discussion ko build karega thus therefore hence as a result consequently clearly inse aapko clearly pata chalta hai ki hum conclusion ki baat kar rahe hain in spite despite uh, nevertheless right these words uh, but these words uh, will help you understand that we are taking the discussion opposite direction ya ek uh, contrary element ko discussion mein lekar aa rahe hain to ye observation badi critical hai jo aapko observe karni padengi agar aap inko observe karoge your role will become easy right so yeah so these are few suggestions from my end and uh, the more you are going to practice the better you are going to become of course this is the hidden uh, formula in the principle of all the underlying vocabulary questions you need to really really work hard uh, the number is good when it comes to ssc and po uh, we don't see much of these questions coming uh, in most of the uh, you know mb entrances there are one or two entrances where you have these questions but with competitive exams other than management entrances we see a lot of trend of closed test questions right now since we know the objective of what is being tested we know the nitty gritties we have solved some closed tests so i would uh, ask you to profusely practice and uh, try to balance out uh, between comprehension and knowing the concepts right and the more you are going to prepare for other sections the section is going to automatically build on its own right so i hope you really enjoyed the session do check the space for more videos and help us spread the word take good care of yourself um, i'm juina rula signing off from the class thank you so much for watching the video all the best